Thank you so much. I'll be leaving here to head out to O'Hare, catching the plane back to Washington. And this week in Washington, we will be voting on the floor of the United States Senate on whether to raise the minimum wage to $10.10 an hour. This senator is voting for a raise in the minimum wage. When you listen to these stories and you consider the lives that they represent, you realize that that woman sitting on the bus every morning got up and looked into an empty refrigerator, told that little boy or little girl, get dressed, I gotta drop you off. We got a friend down the street who's gonna watch you all day and I gotta catch that bus. And they run down to catch the bus or the train and they're off to work hard, standing on their feet every single day. And at the end of the day, they're back on the bus, back home, hoping that maybe they can have something to eat that evening for their families. That is not right in America. If you get up and go to work every single day, you should not live in poverty in America. We have to speak up as a nation. Am I willing to pay 10 cents more for a quarter pounder so that they'll pay $10.10 .10 an hour? You bet I am. Am I willing to pay 10 cents more for a Chicago hot dog to make sure that people get a minimum wage? You bet I am. People across America, respect those who go to work. And there's two other things you got to remember. When these big companies, and little companies too, don't pay a minimum wage, taxpayers make up the difference. That's right. Food stamps given to people who are working 40 hours a week. Child tax credit given to people who are working 40 hours a week. Earned income tax credit given to people working 40 hours a week. The federal treasury and the state treasury are subsidizing low-wage workers. Now let's, let's face reality. In America, we say we have respect for work, we say there's a dignity to work, and this is a test. If you believe in the dignity of work, supporting $10.10 .10 an hour is the right thing to do. And the last point I want to make is this, maybe unrelated, related in my mind, we have a tax code. This tax code is loaded with benefits, with credits, with deductions, with special treatment for special companies. We need a provision in our tax code for patriot corporations, for America's best companies that come forward and say we're going to pay a decent wage with health care, with retirement benefits. We're going to keep our jobs in America and we're going to help our veterans. Let's give a tax break to real patriot corporations who treat their American workers with American dignity. Thank you.